Oh my gosh, hi. I am so excited to do this video. I am working with my overhead light here, which I never have used before. And I decided to film this. I am such a newbie with fountain pens, but I have quickly gone deep down the rabbit hole. Um, I picked up this Lamy um, fountain pen and it's really, I'm really enjoying it. I just was looking at some beginner pens and I think this is um, extra fine tip, which I'm not a extra fine kind of girl, um, but I'm really liking this. I wanted to try out a couple different tips. Um, so I have that. And then I also ordered the Twisby in the rose gold, which I've heard so many great things about. But then I got it and I realized I didn't have ink for it. So I drove to Cambridge today and I picked up this Pelican 4001 Brilliant Bronze, oh, Brilliant Brown. And I really like this color and I think it will look really pretty inside the rose gold. So we're gonna see how it looks. And I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna move my stuff. I, I was gonna try to write in this, but um, I think I'm gonna get something else out. So I plan on using these in my planners. I also got this little pen case, my first pen case. I know this is just gonna be like a little travel one. We're going to Maine this weekend and these were 40% off. So it, it's technically, I mean, it just has this one little pouch, but we were able to fit um, three in here. So I'm gonna bring this, my Twisby with me. Um, we're going to parents weekend up in Maine and I will probably bring um, one of my Cleanest. Is that what this is? I love this pen. This is not a fountain pen though, but that's what I like to write with. So I'll bring those to me with me. Um, so let's get this started. We'll see. Hopefully I'm in the frame. The reason I wanted to do this was uh, for all of the other newbies out there. I have no idea really what I'm doing and I'm going to make all of my mistakes here with you. So I love this case. I'm all about the aesthetic and you know want wanting something that makes me happy to write with. So I'm a little intimidated by all of this, but I did watch a demonstration. I think this is like a little silicone oil, grease, and then the wrench. Um, and I'm not sure if I need that right now. I'm going to just do this. Let's see. So this was $11.25. I wanted a smaller bottle. I really don't want to go crazy with inks because I actually primarily like writing with black ink, but I thought that this color would look so pretty with the rose gold. So that's why I got that. It says don't use alcohol to clean. Um, so this is the pen. I'm sure many of you have seen it before. Um, and it's a twist like this. And here's my little nib. Very pretty in the rose gold. I really love that. So the way that this loads, I hope I don't like mess this up completely. Okay, you turn this counterclockwise like this. And then I believe to get started, you're supposed to flush out the pen. So here goes nothing. You, then you turn it clockwise and it pulls in water. Let's see how am I doing? Oh, look at that. You can see the water in there. See it moving around? I kind of like that about this pen. And then you're gonna throw that water back out. That's to uh, make sure that if there's any debris or any anything inside the chamber there, it goes out. So that time I got a little bit more and then again, all right, so this is called flushing out the pen. Is that right? <laughs> For all of you people who know what you're doing. So then I just have some damp paper towels. I maybe don't even need it that damp next to me. So now that's good. So here is the moment of truth. I'm gonna move my water aside again. This is the ink and I was sure to, um, you know, make sure I got the proper ink because for example, he said that the Faber-Castell is not good um, with fountain pens, though the particular brand that they had or style. So I have, I've heard great things about Pelican. And so I wanted to give these, give this a try. And I really like that this has a little bit of like, almost like a little golden shimmer. So I'm just gonna put my paper towel down here. Should, should my pen go, I'm gonna shake it. I don't know if I'm supposed to. <laughs> But let's try it. Uh, I don't know if there's a seal. It's got the little pelican on top. 
Ooh, what do we think? I think this is gonna look so pretty in here. Okay, I'm a little nervous. So I think I just dip the tip in here and I have it, and then I need to turn it clockwise, right? Oh no, I already pushed everything out. So now, yeah, clockwise pulls it in. How am I doing here? Ooh, this is very gratifying. Whoops, how did I do? Mm, terribly. Nothing, nothing. Oh, this has to go all the way down. Let's try that again. <laughs> I'm gonna keep everything in this because I wanna show you that I have no idea what I'm doing here. Okay, let's try this. Are we getting some ink this time? Ooh, here it is. Look at that. There it goes. Do I have some in there? Um, I don't, I guess that's all. I guess that's everything in there. And then, okay. What, what the woman said that I watch is she said, before you do anything, cap your ink. Oh, see, I already got ink on my hand. <laughs> okay, so then we're gonna go like this and just clean it. I, I think that's okay that the ink is there. I have ink all over me. Oh my God, I'm such a rookie. Okay, I'm hoping that that's all good. I don't know if it's supposed to be kind of leaky like this or if that's just the nature. Okay, I want to get it to a point where it's not coming out. Um, hold on. Let's get rid of this. I wonder if that's just really clean. I do like the brown. I think it's going to be a pretty brown. Okay. Let's go like this. I'm gonna clean my hand a little bit more. Wipe up my area here. And then we will get some notebook paper. Okay, so I really like the looks of this. Let's let's cap it and then we'll see. You know, I love how you can see the ink move in there. I thought that this would just be a really fun ink. The gentleman in there said that you should not use basically American notebooks. Um, so he said that Rhodia was good. There was a Lamy notebook in there. He said Loistrum is good to use as well. He said Moleskin, even though it's an Italian brand, is not the greatest because it's made for the American market. Last weekend, I purchased a Lamy Joy when I was at State College visiting my daughter, not knowing that it was actually a calligraphy pen. This is, this is, oh no, this is what my other Lamy came in. This one right here. This is a limited edition color terracotta. Anyway, so I was just testing it out on this paper and these were my acrylograph pens that I bought from Archer and Olive. Those are really beautiful. So I was just messing around. So I'm gonna sit and see how this works. This is such a pretty pen. I love it. Okay, uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. What did I do wrong? Let me just see. Should I possibly read the directions? Do not over tighten. Did that. Everything looks good. There was so much ink coming out of it and now nothing. Oh, there we go. There we go. I guess I just need a little bit of time. Okay, now I need a fresh page. <laughs> Okay, so this is the twist B. It feels nice. Rose gold. Um, it is pretty. F it is fine. Let me just let me just see. Uh, rose gold, and this is. Pelican 4001, um, and this is called Brilliant Brown. What do you guys think? You can do a little sample here. Um, hmm. I think it's really pretty. Definitely has like a lot of gold undertones. 
A lot of people like will smoosh it just to see like if it dries quickly. Let's see how it works in my Hobonichi. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I think a little ink goes a long way. I can't imagine getting the next size up. So this at the store was $11.25 for the 30 mils. And um, for 60 mils, it was like $16. And I think online, um, it was even less expensive. I think it was like maybe nine for this and like $12.50 or $13. Um, but I was at a local shop in Cambridge and it was fantastic. The staff there was awesome. Okay. So this is just a Moterm uh, pebbled leather case that I recently got for my Hobonichi. And of course, this is from Helen at the Coffee Monsters, Inc. I'm not gonna like go through everything, but these are my dailies. I am like kind of struggling with what to do for my Hobonichi. So most of my stuff here is in black. Just to show you, I can show you my, um, the Lamy here can compare notes so that is the rose gold so now this is extra fine and I will write rose gold under this and I actually think that this feels a little bit thicker um, this does feel really fine the Lamy is extra fine and then the Twisby is fine you know what I'm just gonna pick like a daily that I didn't do anything on so today Thursday let's see what do we do today? Picked up some new ink for my Twisby. <laughs> So it writes very light. It definitely has like a, a golden brown, which which I really like. I wanted that purposely. I didn't want like a dark brown for in here. And I typically, like I said, write with a black ink, um, but I love all things neutral and earth tones. And so, yeah, I thought this was really good. So I'm pretty impressed. So I just wanna see how long before it, it dries because that is definitely um, a bit of a concern with this paper in the Hobonichi, the Toma River paper. Let me just wipe this and just see. I mean, you can use like a paper blotter. I'm just curious if it will transfer. Yeah, there's really nothing over here. That dried pretty quickly. That really did. This, this is more of my workbook. Um, my Hobonichi is kind of more fun. So I put like the nuts and bolts in here. And then after things happen, I will transfer them over. Um, but anyways, this is a fun spread. Okay, so here we are. Let's try a little bit more. So we need to pack four main. I think what's interesting is you can see like when I first start writing, it's almost like a little ombre effect. It's like a little bit darker over here. Pack for main. And then what else do I need to do tomorrow morning? I need to ship out orders for my reselling business. And what else do I need to do? Oh, drop off Lulu. My dog is going with my mom and dad. Drop off Lulu with Meme and Nunu. Yeah, so this is kind of fun. So, I mean, I think it looks great on this paper. And not much over there. I love it. I really love it a lot. Love the color. And then this seems to have like a longer, like the, um, if I compare them side by side, maybe they're the same. This, this definitely feels more fine, but it is extra fine. I love this color pen too. You can tell I'm into the earth tone colors. Um, I have to say that I, I don't know if it's the ink or if it's the nib, but this writes a little bit smoother than this. I don't know if it's because I've been using this more frequently. I didn't think I was gonna like the Lamy that much and I, I really do like it. I like the simplicity of it and the casualness of it. Um, let's just see over here. Oh, this is a twisty thing. I really do like how that ink looks in here. But when this is all closed up, I've been just carrying this in here, which I think looks really nice. I mean, it's fine. It's not like the best color combo. I think this will look really nice. 
Um, it's a little tight in there, but that works. I'm usually at home when I'm planning. Oh, but you know what else I wanted to check out? I wanted to see how this worked. This was $45 and then 40% off. There was just a big pen show in the Boston area. I don't understand why that is so thick. That doesn't seem to make much sense, unless I'm supposed to go this way. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> that seems odd, but I feel like I could do this, and then I could also fit nope, the highlighters too. I could maybe do a mild liner in here. Do I have my mild liners at my desk? No. Um, but I could definitely fit this in. Like this is a nice little travel pouch. This is gonna have to go over here. Um, yeah, I think three pens is good. So I have my brown, my black, and then my cleaner. And then zip around. That'll be a perfect little carry to bring to Maine. And then I can always throw something in here. So I guess that's it. I was really excited to try my new pen and plan with you a little bit, even though I didn't really plan. My friend is getting married and I plan to get her the limited edition Lamy in the cream. They have like a strawberries and cream and I'm going to do the cream. And when we were in high school, she used to always write with um, green ink. So I thought it would be really fun. So I got her the exact same thing. We're having like a little dinner. I'm not going to the wedding because she's not getting married nearby, but she's having like a dinner for her girlfriends. So we are going to gather. So I thought I would give her this for old time's sake. Um, this would also be pretty, but I really like the casualness of the Lamy. And fun fact, she came up with my my name for my business, Lori's Boston Found, my friend Sarah. Shout out to Sarah. She's a writer. So I thought this would be appropriate for her. So Thanks for watching. <laughs> Let me know if you like these little overhead things. This is very out of my comfort zone. Um, and if you did enjoy today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I, I plan on uploading some planner content in the future. So thank you guys so much. I love my Pelican Brilliant Brown. It's really nice. All right. Thank you guys. Bye.